when I look at the surveys in Argentina, it looks like the population is actually very much behind this change in law, and yet it looks like it's unlikely. Yeah. Well, listen, to be specific, you, if you do look at the, the social trends in civil society, the, the, the polls, the recent polls, there has been a clear trend of a surge in, in public support for the idea of a legal abortion. Uh, right now, Argentina has one of the more restrictive laws in, in the region. Well, along with a lot of other countries, like you said, you can really only have an abortion in the case of a rape or if there's an imminent threat or danger to the life of, of, of the woman. Otherwise, it is illegal. Um, and the reality of abortion in Argentina and in a lot of other countries where there's a restriction uh, is that it doesn't prevent abortion. What it really does is it forces women and overwhelmingly poorer women who don't have the resources for safer, clean private clinics uh, to go get a legal abortion. So what? Argentina has about 41 million population. There's anywhere upwards of 350,000 to over 500,000, half a million uh, illegal abortions performed every year in Argentina. The, uh, the, the health ministry of Argentina has estimated there are hundreds of deaths every year from women who would have survived, presumably, if they had been able to seek or had a legal abortion under safe circumstances. Society itself, this movement has been driven uh, a lot by young women. When I say young women, I'm also talking teenagers, uh, girls often, from starting at 13 up to 18, uh, women in their 20s as well, a younger generation who they're not asking for right to for abortion. They're basically demanding it, a right as they see it to do with their bodies as they see fit and not be dictated to by a society um, mostly of men in politics, a very patriarchal, macho society. Uh, they're fed up with that. They want an end to that. And that has been the movement. Back in 2016, the polls showed about 29 percent support within the population. Now, that's lower than you might have been suggesting in your question. But that support, as I said, has been really rising. Uh, last year, the support was anywhere from about 39 uh, to 44 uh, percent. And presumably, not everyone was questioned. But the church has been an extremely powerful influence here, as it has been across the region, both the Catholic and evangelical churches, putting pressure, exerting pressure, stepping into the political fray of this debate and trying to tip the balance against legalizing. Uh, in the run-up to this vote, we, we, we mentioned that it passed back in June in the Chamber of Deputies, the lower house of pa parliament, very narrowly, 129 to 125, very tight in the Senate. As you said, some people are saying it's not going to it's not going to pass in the Senate. There has been overt pressure at by priests at their uh, Sunday uh, sermons, uh, basically naming, listing uh, politicians' names and uh, suggesting that they better vote uh, for this or else. Uh, so, you know, that type of pressure. It's a big uh, vote, of course, in Argentina, but it had wider implications. A lot of its neighbors are looking on with great interest. Absolutely. Great interest because, like I said, Argentina, if this if this were to pass the Senate, um, it would be it would become the most populous country in the region, in Latin America at least, uh, to make uh, abortion illegal. Uh, illegal excuse me. Uh, I just want to show our viewers, first of all, we could show them where is some, there are six countries in the region. When I say the region, I'm including Latin America, both South Central America and the Caribbean, that totally outlaw abortion, total bans. That is, even if the, mother, the, the, the woman is raped, even if there's a threat, an imminent threat to her life if she carries that baby to term. Nicaragua, El Salvador, particularly restrictive in, in El Salvador. Uh, women who uh, have abortions are often accused of aggravated homicide. You could face very uh, lengthy uh, prison terms and fines. Honduras, Haiti, Suriname, Dominican Republic. One more chart I want to bring up. I was blocking Dominican Republic there. One more chart is where, and there are a few countries where it's totally legal. Now, Cuba has been perhaps the trailblazer in the region since 1965. Total legal abortion there. Guyana, small country. More recently, uh, it's been legal. Uruguay, I think it was just in 2012 they made it legal. Mexico City, not all of Mexico. Mexico City, the capital, is an oasis within the broad or Mexico in that abortions are legal there. But as you could see, that's a much shorter list than the first one, where there are total bans. So yes, Argentina is closely watched. Women in other countries, which have been trying to get um, similar types of movements started and debates started, they will be looking for Argentina to set an example very much so. This, I will note, is the seventh attempt to bring legislation in Argentina before parliament. It's the very first time. The seventh time uh, is might be the good one, right? It's the one where they are finally debating it. They're actually getting an open debate in parliament. So all of that, in and of itself, some people see as an, as an advance. But this new generation of women, they're not going to give up. If this fails, you can bet they will be back next year or the year after. Okay. Well, now we'll have to see how that debate in Senate goes. Douglas Herbert, thanks a lot for your insight.